cats hear me say, I'm not interested in selling records. It's not that I don't want to sell a record. I want you to buy the record. We're in the record business. Buy the record if you can. But in truth, I would rather sell a hundred records to the right people than a million records to the wrong people. That's KRS's philosophy. This is your culture. This is your culture. Don't let nobody take your culture away from you. Do you understand? Forever, forever and ever, and ever and ever. This nation thing is serious to me. We come representing breaking MC and graffiti art, DJ and beatbox and fashion language knowledge. We will be here forever. Do you understand that? We are defending a principle called hip hop. Not as hip hop as product and music, but hip hop as lifestyle and culture. Get what I'm saying, forever. I'm the leader of a culture and you're destroying my culture. So at the end of the day, I will raise up in arms. And I'm asking everybody out there to raise up in arms with me. trying to create that family in the concert. That's what I'm gonna try to do tonight, is create that family where everybody in the room feels like they're part of the same movement. Tonight, you're supposed to transcend your color, your race, your ethnicity, your religion, your job, your whatever it is. You're supposed to get past that tonight. And tonight, you're just supposed to be hip hop, period. Trim, 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 trim. My mind is racing, rim, rim, rim. My mind is racing, rim. My mind is racing. When you young, you talk shit and get slapped up for it. The ice, the cars, the cold, we already bought it. The streets, the projects, the hood, we already bought it. The rep, the respect, them cases, we already bought it. The goal, the platinum plaques, we already flaunted. The leathers and freezing. I started trying to get in touch with KRS-One several months ago because um, I love uh, his writing very much and uh, I'd love to make a movie with him someday. The Heal Project is a tremendously important project. Human education against lies. So it's all about the state of mind. Right? That's what we're trying to get. Whether, whether you have professionalism, whether you don't have it, it still comes all under one group as getting it all together under a, a union to put out ideas, to have structure, to have people accountable and let them know they fuck up, out the door, and the next one is in. You got to have a whole accountable discipline order and all the name of the union. And we got to put our money where our mouth is and be doers of the world. I'm a warrior, I'm a warrior. I bring the drama to a world of one lover. What? I'm a warrior, I'm a warrior in this concrete. I think love and peace and intelligence has to come stronger than war and hate and ignorance. Let me tell you about defeating the drama in the street with the armor. It's the teacher Chris Parker. I be in the hood looking good, speaking of honor, being a father, not a boy with baby mama drama. Respect myself. I, I think one of the biggest social problems is ignorance and the lack of education and the uh, miseducation of people, of the youth. If you get firearms in America, firearms come into America and what they do, they get in the black hands and black people kill each other, man. That's the whole, that, that's, that's the main social problem. If you take the guns away, then what are we gonna kill each other with? Drugs. Ignorance. You know how some people believe that um, racial problems stem from black to white to white to black. You know, racial injustice really has no faith. In the kind of history we're taught in the public school system here in America, which essentially essentially gives a very uh, racist, uh, Euro European-based version of history. Um, and it excludes uh, the importance and the achievements and the struggle of black people in America. So I'm all for, uh, I want my children to be educated against those lies. And I hope that Chris's project goes a long way towards counterbalancing and influencing what gets taught in the public schools eventually. This is hip. Uh -huh. Rap is something you do. Uh -huh. When cats grabbed the flyer, right, they looked at this and they said, 
Now, first of all, I'm gonna come to this. Second of all, I wanna see this guy. I got to have you sweating. When you come to a KRS show, you're supposed to be getting in your car wet. to create a new nation, to deal with some of the old problems. But we are creating a new sect of people before your very eyes. Let us recognize who we are today. We are hip hop. did here tonight. Since 86, this man has been uplifting folks. Every for every folk. And look around here. There's all kinds of it was it was a sea of all sort of different people in the uh, in the crowd there tonight. It was a beautiful thing to see. No negativity, nobody acting a fool because they were listening to the words that he, that he was saying. It's not a, not a negative message that this man displays and it hasn't been since 1986. And he's maintained that for, uh, for major years. Major. Major years. Major. Major respect there, sir. Major Thank respect. You. And that's my Grammy. There it is. That's right, there it is. You have a good time. Show me an MC that think he's too hot. Bring him to KRS-1, I'll show him he's not. Blowing the whole spot up when I spit up. Knowledge reigns supreme when I walk past, get up. My wrist ain't lit up. I don't even live that life. Gold, diamonds, platinum, I give to my wife. You see, diamonds, you see, diamonds are a girl's best friend, not mine. You got it fun. But what about that rhyme? Can you rhyme? Can you spit it quick? Like what about in pits and a picnic? Or are you just dressed up? Company the pimp and you the hoe. I talk how I talk when I talk, cause I've been there. I walk how I walk when I walk, cause I've been there. On your own, sleeping in the park, yeah, I've been there. How we really gonna survive? Let us begin there. I talk how I talk when I talk, cause I've been there. I walk how I walk when I walk, cause I've been there. On your own, sleeping in the park, yeah, I've been there. How we really gonna survive? Let us begin me man you needed me man who the teacher me man who gonna lead you me man who gonna free you me man well not mostly me man but come up close to me man make a toast with me man when you think 
think of hip hop, think of it as a culture, not as rap music product. That comes out of the culture. But the culture itself is beyond words. It don't stop. Burn. It don't stop. We still spitting. Word. Knowledge reigns supreme over nearly everyone. When you gonna get it? Ah oh, man. Hip hop is a feeling, an awareness, a lifestyle, a way to be and act in the world. None of us are bigger than life. Life teaches some hardcore lessons. So whether you're conscious or whether you're jiggy, you're gonna get hit with the same lessons regardless. The, the issue is, what are you prepared for? I said, on this first quarter free throw, I said, hip hop could build its own secret society. I put a registration in the back of the album and 80,000 people sent back the registrations. They're still sending them back to this day. Uh, I know a lot of people sent in uh, membership and registration questionnaires. What we really wanted to know was it was one question on there that said, what is hip hop? Uh, they had some other questions as well, but the most important one on the I Got Next album was, what is hip hop? And we had 80,000 people get back to us with what they thought hip hop was. Hip hop's given me a reason to do better, to better myself, to help my friends, to put it on, to like, to like keep going. Everything else had dead ends. Hip hop is giving me the inspiration of the heart, the feeling in my heart to, to, to keep going even when I have no, I have the energy to I do it for my son, I do it for the people that count on it, you know, including all my, all the people that look to me for guidance. You know, it's it's humble, and I, I look at cats like KRS One, you know, teach me how to reach into people and bring the best out of me and the best out of them. Hip hop. It's about self-empowerment, self-improvement. That was the whole point. Give me a second. Control America. KRS 
one still causing hysteria. Illegal business control America. Diamond business control America. The oil business control America. KRS one still causing hysteria. Illegal business control America. One still causing hysteria. Illegal business control America. Diamond business control America. The oil business control America. KRS One still causing hysteria. Illegal business control America. Yeah. We need our own city when you really think about it. Mm. And I mean, just think, just ponder that for a minute as I, as I get up out of here. That's what it's all about. Where's the hip hop city? Here, one will be the mayor. Yo, man, or just a, a, a street sweet <laughs> <laughs> I love Ooh. to watch the streets of a hip hop city, <laughs> or be the mayor, or just be the clergy. Either one, I'd like to live in a, in a hip hop city, and that's what my ultimate vision is for hip hop: is to one day, you know, take over a city. You know, maybe in in my older age. Uh, hook up with a mayor or hook up with some government official or become that person myself and declare some small town somewhere in America a hip hop city. Rim, 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 rim. My mind is racing. Rim, rim, rim. My mind is racing. Rim. My mind is racing. When you young, you talk shit and get slapped up for it. The ice, the cars, the cold, we already bought it. The streets, the projects, the hood, we already bought it. The wreck, the respect, them cases, we already bought it. The gold, the platinum plaques, we already flaunt it. The leathers and freezing weathers, we already sport it. The wise see your lies and you already short it. Them boys ain't talking to boys, we men, we ignore it. The whole planet, so called Earth, we already taught it. My levels be on max with the base distorted. When the economy is up, we getting all of that. When the economy is down, we still touring jack. Look back at 88 where them ballers at. They was buying out the bar, I ain't fall for that. Spending their money, you think the club will call them back. But they didn't, that shit was all in act. I go, rim, rim, my mind is racing. Rim, 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 my mind is racing. Rim, I said my mind is racing like, rim, rim, rim. You know my music, it always points to your self-empowerment, your self-worth. Let's start this song. The real hip hop is over here. Look. Ha. 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 Turn it up. Turn it up. I'm the one that steps in the club, you'll see it. Giving that, giving pounds and hugs, you'll see it. In the club, I'm not looking for love, you'll see it. Give me the mic and I'll show you what's up, better believe it I'm not at the bar, whatever, the pub, you don't see it Still they sending me these bottles of bub, you don't see it But I will open the minds of thugs, you don't see it Who you think really bringing the drugs, you don't see it 60 million people smoking the bud, you don't see it Cause the American way of life is bug, you don't see it You never peep but yo, this ain't a secret, you don't see it They confiscated, we selling, you retrieve it, you don't see it So believe it while you sit there weed it, you don't see it Hip hop culture, who gonna lead it, you don't see it K R S one, you don't see it. Peace, love, unity, and having the fun, you don't see it. Cocaine business control America. Ganja business control America. K R S one still causing hysteria. Illegal business control America. Diamond business control America. The oil business control America. K R S one still causing hysteria. Illegal business control America. Rise up, brother. Raise up, sister. Visualize well. Put yourself in the picture. Very few cats gonna tell you the half. You don't see it. Cause they really only after the cash. You don't see it. But they wind up selling their own ass. One album, two album, they gone. They don't last. So hold on a minute now. Don't be so fast. Knowledge reigns supreme with me. You won't crash. Huh? I'm the cat that spits the roar. You don't see it. They can't believe when I hit the tour. You don't see it. I'm not ready to retire for sure. You don't see it. I'm from the 70s. I'm down my law. You don't see it. We pass flyers door to door. You don't see it. Popularity's going more and more. You don't see it. Conscious rap where the heart is at. You don't see it. We be screaming where the party at. You don't see it. But instead of the Bacardi sack, you don't see it. Falling out in the party in the back. You don't see it. Let me show you where the art is at. You don't see it. Put down your money. I'm taking all of that. 
Rob say be calling me back. You didn't see it. I'm never short cause I'm taller than that. You didn't see it. I'm only showing you the other way out. Maybe I'm preaching, but this is what love is about. You didn't see it. Cocaine business control America. Ganja business control America. KRS one still causing a stereo. Illegal business control America. KRS, I speak when I must. It's that official underground rap. This you can trust. I stand outside the industry and there's many of us talking mad shit. But for those who don't bilingual, plenty of stuff. My whole crew is why you can't get with any of us. Reason I'm not on TV, cause I'm not selling you love. I'm not rhyming for a Bentley or a house this much. I spit for the conscious. What about us? Time's up, time to open that mind up. Temple of hip hop sign up. Devils, we bind up. When I'm a rhyme, it cuts your spirit. Here it is, shines up. Climb up before you wind up. Take it. Cocaine business control America. Gunja business control America. KRS one still causing a stereo. Illegal business. Control America, diamond business. Control America, the oil business. Control America, KRS One still causing a stereo. Illegal business. Control America. One still causing a stereo. Illegal business control America. Diamond business control America. The oil business control America. KRS One still causing a stereo. Illegal business control America. Yeah. Make some noise. What's up, everybody? Yo. Everybody make some noise. Yo. Yeah. Welcome to the Temple of Hip Hop Ministries. The Temple of Hip Hop is a hip hop preservation society designed for the upliftment and promotion of hip hop culture. Hip hop is not just rap music. Hip hop is beyond rap music. Rap is something we yeah, do. Hip hop is something we live. Hip hop came from the streets, it came from us. It was an energy that the record companies gravitated towards. Hip hop is our child, this is our baby. We gave birth to it. See, hip hop taught me what love is, rap taught me what a thug is. I'm just trying to spit it. We're still menacing. The name the hip hop is still ring, shivers through people's bones. Right now, there's a war between the state of hip hop. I stand here before you, a representative of something we call hip-hop culture. Words mean very little without definition. We are here to discuss the definition of hip-hop. Once we deal with the definition, meaning, purpose, intention of hip-hop, the words will change. Rap, everybody's so focused on the hype and trying to live up to the hype. You know, all the lyrics, the hoes, niggas, bitches. They need to have some type of control of what they portray themselves as because a lot of these kids don't have parents in the house to show them that that's wrong. Since 1994, uh, we've been having meetings about the preservation of their pop as a culture. This is when Harry Allen, the media assassin, held a discussion at the Schomburg Center for an organization called the Rhythm Cultural Institute. Yo, they got me at handcuffed. that meeting, I decided to document the history of hip-hop uh, and also mad. begin Everybody to teach talking. spiritual principles through the language of hip-hop. open up their eyes and see through these lies. Discipline themselves, yourself, to stay alive. Not many. This then went on to the creation of the Temple of Hip-Hop, which is at first a society that preserves hip hop. This public safety issue is very simple. One of the things that we haven't dealt with is how we've allowed ourselves to be degraded. See, all day long on radio and television and print media. All those niggas bitches. If all you see are people like myself and yourself. All those niggas bitches. Depicted as criminals in these magazines with no other reference. It's now becoming a public safety issue. Break it down. If you don't know me right now, watch out, you ever know me. Never won a Grammy, won't win a Tony, but I'm not the only MC keeping it real. 
<laughs> Brothers get up there talking about killing people and they get on stage and thank God. Our images shouldn't be played around with. This is not a fan club. This is for people who are serious about hip hop's preservation. So the Temple of Hip Hop rose up and collected 29 paragraphs from various people in the industry uh, to create the Hip Hop Declaration of Peace. Uh, this is a document that advises hip hop culture on ways in which it can sustain peace and join into the peace process. It was very important to go to City Hall and receive proclamation. It's a great pleasure to be here and to celebrate Hip Hop Week and the Hip Hop culture. Understand, I'm a student of Hip Hop. I'm proud to say that. In junior high with the B plus grade yeah. at the end of the day. I don't hit the hard grade. Hip Hop culture is positive. That's what it came. Don't waste your mind. And I've never seen any negative. Believe in yourself. Ever from KRS One. A lot of times, growing up with images and movies like Fort Apache and the Bronx, sometimes you got a low self-esteem and a low pride about the Bronx during the late 70s and 80s. And then came this young man with a song called The South Bronx. The South, South Bronx, The South Bronx. The South, South Bronx, The South, South Bronx. The South, Bronx. The South, South Bronx, 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 The South, South Bronx. The collective character of hip hop consciousness. I'm not in a super tie and I'm driving around in my car with the assembly license. The police officers still pull me over because of the music that I'm listening to. Because they can't understand that a young man with a sweatshirt and jeans and boots and a hat listening to hip hop could actually be the assembly person. And so we have to change that. It's time for hip hopers to stand up. Put your head, listen to this word. I see you, brother. The leaders of today's hip hop movement will continue to advance their cause for generations to come. Hip hop has made a profound impact on our culture, our lives, and our world. We then went to the United Nations and pretty much presented ourselves before an organization called UNESCO, the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization. It is an honor that the hip-hop generation has joined us in this quest for peace in the world. The Hip-Hop Declaration of Peace is an informal document that we have put together. And in this document is the first step to something legitimate and something real. Wherever the elements, culture, and expressions of hip-hop and the term hip-hop manifest, this hip-hop declaration of peace shall govern its use and interpretation. Hip-hop respects the dignity and sanctity of life without discrimination or prejudice. Hip-hop culture demands that hip-hoppers work to eliminate poverty, speak out against injustices, and to shape a more caring society and a more peaceful world. Hip-hop does not participate in any form of hate at any time. Those who are not hip-hop are prohibited from explaining or interpreting hip-hop to others. Hip-hop respects the laws and agreements of its culture, its country, and those it does business with. Hip-hop is the name of our collective consciousness. As a conscious way of life, we recognize our influence on society, especially on children, and we forever shall keep the welfare of both in mind.